Hey everybody, it's Bjorn from WP Learning Lab. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to create SEO-friendly permalinks. And the reason you wanna do this is because we all like SEO. SEO is short for Search Engine Optimization. And if you do proper SEO, your website and your individual pages will rank higher in Google for their keywords, which means that you will get more traffic. So one of the key components of SEO is the URL. And I see a lot of websites getting this wrong, so I'm gonna quickly show you how to, pro how to properly SEO your permalinks. It's actually a setting within WordPress. It's really easy to set up, and we're gonna do that right now. So we're in the WordPress dashboard right here, and all we have to do is hover over settings on the left-hand side, and then click on permalinks, and we are presented with a bunch of options right at the top here. And these are the different types of permalink structures that WordPress has built in. Now, if you're an advanced user, you can make your own custom structures via the HT access file. But even if you're an advanced user, there's really no reason to do anything besides the default settings that you have here. And the one that you want to use that is SEO friendly is the post name permalink. And what that does is it has an example here. So it has your domain name and then it has, this is actually the title. The title of this post to be sample post and it creates the URL based on that. So it has sample dash post as the URL. The other ones, for example, the default is the very worst permalink for SEO because it just appends a number to the URL and Google reads the number. Let's say it's 1352 is your, it's actually based on your post ID. So let's say the number is 1352. That doesn't tell Google anything about the content of that page. So it knows a little less information about your page and it knows a little less what to do with it. The day and name is a good one if you have a, a news site where you're publishing news content daily and the date is important for news content. So that's the only time I'd want you using a day and name. And you'd wanna have it end with this sample post. So that, that's again, the post title that's converted into a URL. The month and name you could also use for a news site if you wanted. The numeric, just don't use that one if you care about SEO. And if you, if you don't have a news site and you wanna take care of your SEO, choose the post name and then click on save changes. And then when you create a post, we're gonna do one right now. If we go to posts and click on add new and type in a title, this is my super duper sample post. And we click on we're going to click on save draft because there's nothing, no content there. But if you click on either save draft or publish or schedule, it takes that title and it converts it into the URL slug that you have here. The slug is the part of the URL that comes after the forward slash after your .com or .org or .net. So this URL slug is English. It's readable by humans and it's also readable by, by Google and it can associate keywords with this slug. So I can find keywords in there and rank you appropriately. Now another SEO tip, if your keyword is super duper, or let's say my keyword is super duper for this example, we wanna have the super duper keyword as close to the beginning as possible. So I could remove this is, so we have super duper starting as the second word. And then we could even have super duper is the very first thing and just take out my. And then the, the closer your keyword is to the very beginning of the URL and the title, the better it is for SEO. Now there's a lot more to do with SEO, but that's not the purposes of this video. This is just to show you how to set up your permalinks using the post name structure to make your permalinks more SEO friendly. Now there's one common scenario where you've had different permalinks and you have a bunch of content on your site already that's using the old permalinks and you want to convert to the new one. If that's the case, you will need to redirect all of your old links to the new links. And below this video, I have a link to a 301 redirect tutorial, which is the method you will use to redirect all those old links to the new links. And it's a three minute video or four minute video. And in there, you will learn how to go into your HT access file and do that redirection so that you don't lose any SEO power on those pages if they had any. So in this video, we learned how to do SEO friendly permalinks. I hope this video helps you. My name is Bjorn Allpass from WP Learning Lab. 
Please make sure you like this video if it helped. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Check out our social media feeds and check out wplearninglab.com where we write about WordPress every single day. Talk to you soon.